Right, we're going to be looking at how to add decals. And decals is basically a name for kind of a sticker, I guess. Okay, so that's done here in the insert part. And you click the little arrow, and we need to insert a decal. It'll then pop up with a window asking you to select the face and to select the image that you want it on. So I'm going to put the decal onto this front face here, select that, and then click select image. Now what you should have done, hopefully, is, is saved an image already off the internet. If not, I can show you how to do that in a second if you're unsure. So on desktop, I've got an image here of the make of my camera, and it says Canon logo. So that will load that up and then hopefully it'll attach it to the camera like so. Now, hopefully you can see that that is not quite the right image that I want because it's ended up with this white background around it. I'll change that in a second, but when you put it in, you can kind of move it up and down, left and right in the normal way on the Z and, uh, X, and X and Y axis, sorry. Or you can also enlarge it using the little arrows on the corner and as you can see it will kind of bend around the faces of your camera okay so if I make it kind of purposely big like so and you've also got a rotation part here so you can spin it around if it's not coming in the correct in the correct way okay now like I say um, that's not the one that I want if you don't want it to go over all the faces and you want it to go behind then you toggle off the one this one that says chain faces Okay, depending on what uh, what your design is. I think for our camera, most of the time, you won't need it. I'm going to cancel that one, and I'm going to show you on the internet what we need to do. So we were looking for a Canon logo. Type it in, hit images, and it'll come up. Now, we're not quite sure which ones we, we want. So it gives you some options here. So I want it to be a, a transparent PNG or a transparent background. If it's not showing up, you can go to tools, you can go to color, and you can select transparent. These images will then come up. So let's say I want another red one. I'll go for that. And then hopefully when it's it's fully loaded, you can see it's it's still a bit pixely. When it's fully loaded, it should come up with like a checker background, and that checker background shows that it's a, a, a transparent background, and that when you put it onto your drawing you're not going to see that white part in the back. That was taking a long time. There you go, that was better. So you can see this, this kind of checkerboard um, thing. And then from there, you can right-click it, save image as, and you can put it wherever you want it to be. So I already did that before, so I'll go back into Fusion, and again, I can um, go onto Insert, Decal, select my face, which is there, select my image, I've got one called Canon 2, which has got a transparent background on it. Now you can see it's it's a lot better. It's the kind of one that I want. Not go into where I want. Uh, what you can do as well, you can type in the distance and it will move, for instance. Okay. If it decides that it doesn't want to doesn't want to move. And again, in the normal kind of way, you can um, you can change the opacity as well if you don't want it to be super bright. And then when you're finished, um, you can simply click OK, and you've got your image in there. Okay, so that's how to add decals.